please. You must help me. Help. Oh, please help me. We were attacked. They struck without warning. The backstabbing bastards. It was House Montclair, the traitor's curse. He caught us by surprise and showed not even a hint of mercy. Lieutenant Fairfax commandeered the old tower on the hill and dug in tight. The Shorenhelm guard won't go down without our fight. Lieutenant Fairfax sent me to gather healing supplies from our wagons, but one of those Montclairs got the drop on me. Can you get the supplies and take them to the lieutenant? I'll see if I can get word about this to the rest of our troops. Lieutenant Fairfax needs those healing supplies. A lot of our soldiers were wounded in the surprise attack. What's to tell? We were on patrol, watching for more of Montclair's mischief. When we stopped to check on Hinault's farm, we were ambushed. We knew Montclair had troops, but we never expected that he had a damned army. My opinion? He wants to be the king of Rivenspire, just like that madman Ranser. Lieutenant Fairfax retreated to the old tower on the hill. We're holding Montclair's soldiers off, but we need to get our wounded troops back on their feet again. Speak up and talk fast. After that surprise attack, I'm not feeling very trusting or hospitable towards strangers. Our healing supplies? Eloise could certainly use those. All right, I'll order them to unlock the tower door. But understand this, if you betray us in any way, I'll kill you myself and toss your lifeless body from the top of the tower. Unlock the tower door! Can't you see all these wounded? All this blood? I feel like I'll never be clean again, and I still have so much to do here. Divines be praised! Thank you so much. With these supplies, I can properly tend to the wounded. If you're willing to help, I won't say no. I'm worried about the Hinault family. We haven't seen them since the battle started. I want to check on them, make sure they're all right. But I don't want to navigate a horde of Montclairs on my own. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Lieutenant Fairfax doesn't want anyone to leave the tower. But I'm sure he'll agree to let me go if you accompany me. Give me a moment to finish tending to these soldiers and I'll meet you outside. I, I just... I just need a moment. I'll meet you outside. Just because I'm a healer doesn't mean I don't know my way around a battlefield. I kept my head low followed orders, and took care of the wounded. Thankfully, I had a few supplies, but what you brought me is a godsend. Uh. Blessed Arke, take these poor souls under your care. 
Yes, I am a priest of Arche in service to the Shornhelm Guard. I have been tasked with giving the final blessing to the soldiers that died in today's battle. Without Arke's blessing, they could become enthralled by a necromancer. Thank you, but this task is mine to perform. I trained many years in Wayrest to become a priest. If I can't get through such a task on my own, I'm not suited for this calling. Arke tests me. I must prevail. Arke is the divine of birth and death. He is the caretaker of the divine cycle all mortals must traverse, change, and rebirth. Only through him can we fathom the meanings of these heady concepts. I'm here. Talk to me when you're ready to check on the Henault family. I'm ready when you are. Follow me and stay close. It's not that far. This is the Henault farmhouse. Why don't you go up and see if anyone is home? Go away! We don't want any trouble! Are we all right? Soldiers have invaded our farm and you're asking if we're all right? What is this? Some kind of trick so you can take our house too? And I should just believe you and open this door? I don't think so. If you really want to help, bring me weapons to arm my family with. Once we can properly defend ourselves, I'll happily open this door. Not just any weapons, you hear me? I need a two-handed sword, and one-handed swords for my wife and oldest son. My younger son needs a bow, and my daughter, she insists on having a pair of daggers. Bring the weapons back here when you have them. Denovi makes a good point, but I think I can help. Come talk to me when you have a moment. One thing you can always count on after a battle. Lots of extra weapons. I saw some of the soldiers tossing weapons into the barn. You should be able to find everything Genovi asked for in there. You can handle this on your own. There's fresh blood inside the farmhouse. Can't you smell it? I need to collect my healing supplies from the tower so I can help Genovi and his family. Right. Good. Whatever. The sooner we get this done, the sooner I can get something to eat. Suddenly I'm starving. I'm not sure I can stand much more of this. Bodies? The blood? 
I wanted to save this family, but look what happened. It feels like everything has suddenly gone wrong. I don't know. I came back and found that the door was open. Genovi must have sacrificed himself so the rest of the family could escape. But blessed RK, why did they open the door? The weapons? Of course. It's just the enormity of it all. It's frazzled my nerves. But the rest of the Hinault family, you have to find them. Before you go, I have to tell you something. The dead? They sometimes return as blood fiends. I'm not sure, but the Lieutenant thinks the Montclairs are responsible. If any of the Hinaults were killed, you have to burn their bodies. Take this torch and start with Genovi. Then collect his ashes so his family can give him a proper burial. Please, don't hurt me. I, I don't want to die. Wait. You're not the creature that attacked my father. You're not even one of them. Too little, too late, stranger. If you had come to us before that monster knocked on our door, maybe things would be different. Instead, my father is dead and my family is scattered. She knocked on the door. She sounded concerned, said she was there to help. When my father opened the door, he was attacked. He yelled for us to run. I heard my father's screams. They followed me as I ran. The sword, just like my father requested. Oh, I wish he had just let you in. You could have saved him. I'll run to the Shornhelm guard. Please, find the rest of my family. We got separated in the confusion. She knocked on our door. She sounded concerned, said she was there to help. When my father opened the door, he was attacked. He yelled for us to run. I heard my father's screams. They followed me as I ran. Done anything? You. you were the one who came to the door? Who my father sent off to get weapons for us? He should have trusted you. I wasn't close enough to hear, but someone knocked on the door and convinced my father to open it. That's when the screaming started. And the blood. I panicked. Probably would have died myself if not for Joan. I feel better with these in my hands. I just wish you would have made it back sooner. Then maybe my father would still be alive. I wasn't close enough to hear, but someone knocked on the door and convinced my father to open it. That's when the screaming started, and the blood. I panicked. Probably would have died myself if not for Joan. Ah! <laughs> 
there you are. Have you seen Heloise? Some of the Hinalts have arrived. But I haven't seen Heloise since she ran off with her healing kit. Well, she hasn't come back yet, and I'm starting to worry. I think she's ill and trying hard not to show it. Hopefully she'll be back soon. For now, go inside and check on the Hinalts. I promised to send you to them when you arrived. It's good to see you again, my friend. The Shorenhelm Guard has been helpful, but my mother and little brother have yet to arrive. By any chance, did you happen to find them while you were out there? I was afraid that was going to be the case. I'll, I'll try to be strong. For my sister. I just wish I could bury them in the family graveyard. I won't sleep easy until that's done. Thank you. We'll bury these as soon as my sister calms down. Oh, wait a moment. Someone's coming in. No. No, it can't be. Not you! Divines, protect us! It's the monster! Stay back, foul creature! Monster? What did I... She's a blood fiend! She entered our farmhouse and killed our father! No. That can't be true. What are you still doing in here? You need to chase down that monster and kill it! Kill it dead! That... that was the thing that attacked my father! Am I sure I heard her voice outside our door asking us to open it? Am I sure she leapt at my father and sank her teeth into his neck? Am I sure he told us to run with his dying breath? Yes, it was her! And maybe she's insane. Would that make everything better? Maybe my father wasn't killed by an undead abomination, but by an ordinary madwoman. Look, you're right. She doesn't look like a blood fiend. But she was definitely the one who attacked us. Dendar, what's wrong with me? Please, stay back. I'm so hungry and I don't want to hurt you. I think... I think Hinault's son is right. I think I did attack his father. I'm not sure. My memory comes back to me in flashes. I smell blood, so fresh and strong. I've just been so hungry. I, 
I think... I think... I think I consumed Genovi's blood. Why am I so hungry? Again? I don't know. Days ago? Weeks? No. I was scratched. During the battle with the Montclairs, I remember a snarl. Something touched my arm. I forgot about it until I noticed the deep scratch while I was tending to the wounded soldiers. Since then, I've been dreaming while I'm awake. Dream about teeth and blood. So much blood. I can smell it all around me. I'm hungry. So hungry. I'll go away. Far away. I'll find a place to hide. Some place where I can't hurt anyone. I don't trust myself. Stendar, help me. I'm so hungry. I can do this. I can control it. It's only when I get hungry that I lose control. I'll live in the wilderness, far from people. I'll survive on animals. Never people. Never. I'm sure I can control it. Lieutenant Fairfax. Sometimes I thought he had a... fondness for me. I hope he didn't. I really hope he hated me. I can't think about what might have been. Tell him not to look for me. I want him to hate me with all his heart. Eloise, is she all right? Does she need help? I knew something was wrong. I tried to get her to talk to me. Maybe I could have done something and then she'd still be here. But she's alive, right? I mean, that's something. When this business with Montclair is over, I'll find her. I'll bring her back. My sister and I are going to bury our family. We'd be honored if you accompanied us. Marek would come here to play all the time. It made Mother so nervous. She hated these ruins. I remember Father's ghost stories. He tried to scare us into staying away. But the stories just made Marek more interested. Things are going to be so different now that they're gone. Thank you for coming with us. I feel safer with you nearby. to our family is terrible, but as the bards say, life goes on. My sister and I came up here to, well, to give them a proper burial. Thank you. I have one last favor to ask of you, though. Would you bury our family's ashes? Mela and I think it would be appropriate, considering all you've done for us. Father was strong, steady. He held our family together.
Mother was our rock. I loved her so much. I miss you, Marek. You were a spoiled brat, but I loved you. Blessed Arke, please sanctify our family and the ground they rest in. Let them find peace and keep them safe. Well, my family is at peace now. Thank you so much for your help. You'll always be a friend of the Henault family. I'm not sure. There are so many memories here, but we can't keep the farm in good order with just the two of us. Mela and I might travel for a while, visit Shornhelm, or Wayrest. We'll make a new life for ourselves, thanks to you.